Hi everyone. Today I want to show how to create a video using Navisworks. This is a 4D simulation using Navisworks here. So you want to go to the Home tab. You want to go to Timeliner, and then you want to drop down to the bottom and add a task. <clears throat> so we're going to just create a couple of very basic tasks here, just to simulate um a 4d simulation so we're just going to call one task floor next task walls and next task windows just run through create a couple of tasks you don't have to do as many as this if you want you want to do this in an nwd file as well so just open up an nwd i've put a couple of different just three different links in there as you can see i'm primarily I want to show the electrical but I just said I'd make the video and show a bit of mechanical and architectural as well but really if I when I was doing this I was just going to do electrical so you want to put in your dates now again for the purpose of this video I didn't really go too detailed with and um, the dates I'm just going with kind of just generic dates given you know a month or two for tasks to be completed and um, I actually forgot columns there I, I, and I just sticking them in for the purposes of it your dates are important you're important you know your your plan start your plan date you don't need an actual and an actual end unless you want to but you know you can get more detailed into this if you can if you want to of course you can upload a csv or a primavera or a microsoft project file if if you have them that's fantastic i just want to show how to do it very basically without those files just using the software itself from um you know the nwc is combined into an nwd and then just a basic timeliner it's really good for the 40 simulation and uh, because it's never works it's relatively easy to navigate through the model so you can do it in different locations and things like that which you'll see when the video is playing i'll run through in different areas just to show um, you know the building being built around where we're standing So we have our lights. We're saying what, you know, two months for lights. In a building this size, it probably wouldn't take that long anyway. You know, actually, I've, I don't have very much involved in this. I just did a little bit. It's the the training video that I use quite often. Um, I'm just going to while we're setting up dates here, while I'm doing a monotonous not this thing, I'm just going to say, would you please drop a like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel? That'd be great. And um, my social links are in the video description as well. So now that we have all our dates set, the next thing to do is to go to your task type and set it for construction. Obviously you can you can do different things, but you just want to for the purposes of this set everything to construction. That way we'll see the model being built in front of us when we go. Right, so that's the model set. Now that we're happy, we have our federated model. If we've missed anything, right, so now we have to add everything to it. So firstly, I'm just going to show you, you can do it individually. So you can add your floors, select floors, go down to attach, make sure you floor highlighted and that whichever one you've highlighted, that one will, will attach. So now we're going to do the same thing again. Floors highlighted, floors highlighted and add the current section. And here we go, attach. Now, fantastic. Of course, there's a quicker way. So with walls, we're just going to show you here. Select everything that says walls. Brilliant. And attach them all together. We don't have to mess around. So basically, we're doing everything from the architectural model first. And we're obviously going to forget windows. And then we're going to, oh, sorry, columns. And then I'm going to go back and do columns. So we have all our windows. Attach, attach the current set. Then we go into our brackets, which is next. So that's in our electrical model which this is actually the most important thing that I wanted and uh, we expand all the floors and you just need to know which family so type that you have which brackets in this case is in generic mods and um, so containment will be cable trays and treble cable fittings so it's important that you do have the model broken down so that you know what section each things are you're pulling from or for so now we've all the cable trays selected in the project and we just attach those to our 
containment fantastic and then we do the same for our lights so lights again are going to be lighting fixtures if you make a mistake you can just amend it anyway so it's, it's no big deal so now we're doing our sockets I'm actually throwing on electrical equipment as well because we have a couple of distribution bars and I'm just gonna say we're doing those at the same time just for the purposes of the video and then we go to our mechanical we want to open that up and we want to grab all our duct work we're just going to say that within these two months all our duct work is going to be completed obviously if we had a schedule or if we had a better plan we could do something we could spend a bit more time but i just want to show you within less than 10 minutes you can have this all set up nice and easy just highlight everything throw it into mechanical And then obviously we forgot the columns so we just go to back into our architectural model and expand everything grab all the columns and then attach nice and easy okay now that they're attached that's actually the work done you hit simulate It'll go back here in you'll see the little green outline of the building where it's going to go and then you see everything arrive in when you hit play so you'll see our tasks starting down the left hand side there's our timeline of runs you see our containment lights and mechanical and then lights and sockets and that's everything completed now being novice works we can navigate into the building we can go to a particular room and run the simulation again so maybe we want to see you know little area there because obviously we're focusing on the electrical in this project so we want to just see you know maybe an area with a bit of cable trays and some brackets so what we do is we go here because we know it's going to happen and then we'll run the simulation again and we'll see that room in that view being built kind of around us there's our brackets coming in you know it's likely before the containment then the containment comes in and there we go you know there's our lights then so that's the kind of idea that we're looking at and being novice works you know you can go around and check it out yourself you can turn things on and off change the transparency all those things so this time what we're going to do is we're going to turn off one of the models so you can just turn off the architecture model completely so you know just say you're not interested in seeing that you just want to see the M&E services coming in then of course you can do it and we'll run the simulation again so you can turn off a floor you can turn off services you can you know you can edit this tailor to suit your needs there's our brackets coming in there's a containment there's our lights and there we go that's a little look at the project a really quick way to create a 4d simulation without using Primavera pre-6 or any other software is just using Navisworks itself this is the Navisworks package so you need to have Navisworks and um, manage and that's really it so again i'd ask you to like and subscribe hope this video helps feel free to check out my other helpful videos in the description take care